Exactly. Costco, you will forever have my heart. To so the people that's my age, and I'm 21, and I only got like four pairs of Jordans now. I sold all my stuff long, well, just over the years. And I never really had that much anyway, just because I ain't have money like that, you know? And that's mainly the reason why I kind of went into the lane that I'm doing now, which is, you know, reconstructing shoes. And that's basically just getting a better quality shoe with the, with just a little more effort. For those of you that are 25 and younger, so basically young adults all the way to teenagers and below. For those of you that just started collecting, let's say a year to a year and a half ago and have already accumulated, let's say about 40 pairs of sneakers. What, where do you guys get your money from? I mean, I, what I consider like basically 25 is like, at that point you really just starting to get into your career solid you know now you got a real you know well-paying job things are going great so at that point i guess you could say you know you do have the funds to just spend on every single weekend on a pair of sneakers that's coming out but but it's not really about the money that you spend on the sneakers but it's really about what are you what are you not spending your money on in lieu of putting your money to nothing but Jordans and releases that's coming out every single weekend. You know, because that's where I had to stop at. Probably two, three years ago, I was more than willing to cash out so I could, you know, build up a huge collection and have 50 pairs that I would really only wear 10 just because 10 were my favorite and the 40 could just sit there and collect dust. But it's just not practical now. And like I said before, I really don't see it as how much money I'm spending on sneakers, but what are the other things that I'm not spending the money on that need to be spent on, if you understand what I mean? Things that really make your life go round. And even as I'm sitting here right now, like I said, I only got like three pairs of like, but if I were to sell these things tomorrow or tonight for 275 on Craigslist, that 275 would still be a come up in addition to the thousand dollars I get off of my reconstructed sneakers. So it's like if you're new to the sneaker game and you've accumulated, you know, a lot of your pairs, you know, within a small amount of time, and you are, like I said, you know, 25 or younger, hit me up in the comment section and just let me know like what how much have you spent, you know, within that time and then if there was, what are the things that you wish you would have spent, you know, that money on um, due to the fact that you spending it on sneakers? I mean, it doesn't have to be right. doesn't have to be wrong. It's just it is what it is. But that's what I would like to know because, like I said, I really, I, I just right now, right now where I'm at right now, 21, I couldn't, I couldn't just cash out and have my closet with like 30 pairs of Jordans just because, because, uh, because to me, that's just too much money sitting in a closet. It gotta be somewhere else. Whether that be through investments, however you do that, or in Chase. How are you doing?
DeAndre. I have not been here in such a long time. It's been a couple of weeks since I felt the need to come here, but whenever I do come here, I end up buying up like the whole store. So pray for me. I'm only in here to get one thing. <laughs> Real good one. <laughs> Quick thought. Being that we are in Home Depot, I thought it would be best to make this field trip worthwhile. And, uh, damn it. So you got this tape, and then you got both of these tapes, and then you got this tape, and a few others. So, I never got no sort of good results with this section right here only thing I use only thing I probably will ever use is scotch tape in all sort of sizes but please always and forever scotch tape and because everything else just never seemed to stick and just always ended up sucking frog tape never went well scotch blue painter tape I don't know why they call it painter tape because it never sticks for me um, never went well Everything sucked. So And for those of you that are wondering, yes, this is the first time they ever bought this product because um, I'm trying something different. Like I said, innovation is one hell of a drug, so I'm using it. <laughs> 